in the Second World War. They take training in Japan. General Mahani is a good, good leader, but they are not a good leader, especially General Nguyen is not a good leader. So they take training, they, keep, they get the training from the Japanese forces. And then General Nguyen Phuong, he becomes a general, they take power then. They, he, used to, he ruled the country by forces. Yeah. He went to power in 1962, March 2. It's a very big demonstration happened in our school. In this demonstration, they shoot the student. So, round about one, I think 158 students are died. Killed by the SPTC. I studied from 62 to 66 in Rangoon University. History is the major subject. Sophie is the minor subject that I joined the Green Revolution because my my village is the we can say under the control of a Green Revolution. It's a Green Revolution uh, entered to our village. So 1966, 67 to 74, I. I stay in the Shan State uh, to contact with other ethnic revolutionary group. The military regime operation is very, very strong in that area. So many villages are burned down by the SPDC troops. So the, the villages are become by ITP, Internet Dispatcher. They leave. They left their village and they arrived to the jungle. And then headquarters gave me duty again to go to the northern Burma, to Kitchen State, Shan State, Palau State. At that time, in our Manaplo headquarters, we have an ethnic alliance. We call NDF, National Democratic Front. Uh, we have around about 11 members at that. All ethnic devolution groups are ethnic within NDF member. At the time, I'm at the Manaplo. And so many students are arrived to our area, around about 6,000, over 6,000 at that. We formed Democratic Alliance of Bang Alliance. I remember about uh, 21 groups are TAP member, Democratic Alliance of Power. As that year, our president is General Sol Bumya. And working together with the General Bumya, the president, from 1988 to 1995. In 1995, the SPDC operation Often that is very strong, very bad. So we lost our mm, Manaplo headquarters at that year, 1995. When we stay in Manaplo, we have from about uh, 40 soldiers, 40,000 soldiers, mm -hmm. 40,000. But when we withdraw from Manaplo, we have only around about uh, uh, one. At 10,000, or 12, around about 12,000 soldiers. We have only 12,000 soldiers. Okay. We lost everything they can. They think we lost everything. Yeah. And then we don't, they think we don't have any uh, bargaining power. This, at the time, some ethnic groups are like this far with the SPC. About 10, I think. In 1996, the SPDC offered our grant to make, to talk with them. So we, we sent the delegation to the to SP, SPDC area about four times. At that, at that time, I am a delegation, the leaders of delegation. I go to Rangu in Malmain and we talk with the SPDC. We, from our side, 
we want them to declare nationwide ceasefire. And then we will stop the fighting. And then after that we will talk the politics part. But they don't they don't accept. Look at four days to enter to their country. It is very clear because now there is no constitution in our area, in, in our country. After they take power, all constitutions are they, they, they abolish all the constitution. So they rule by military martial law. They rule the country by martial law. Don't make any demonstration. We don't allow. Now we are control our. We rule our country by martial law. Ninety-seven to ninety-nine at that time, and on our current revolution, not very stable. Some people are, some soldiers are afraid, especially especially by military offensive. Enter to military control, military dictatorship control.